Ay. Entire battle for one star point. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Impossible. Unthinkable. How could I? I could not be beaten by lesser beings such as these. And I had just been reborn into this world. I cannot. I must not. Well, you have, and you must have, so. I. My queen! Go! I like how they were there the whole time, yet they didn't do a dang thing. They didn't even help her. What the frick? Orange fire! Yay! Screw the black fire! We have orange. We're normal. You hear that? We're normal, people. No! Let's get out of here, Mel! Go! Uh -huh. Where are you gonna go, freak sheet? Hey, 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 wait! Uh, awkward situation! Must jump out of non-existent window. P preach Aw, oh, poor Vivian. She's all tired. Mario, over here! Huh? Oh, right, right, right. I gotta say the princess. I was just trying to beat the game, so... Princess Peach is just fine. She's not even hurt. I can't imagine how. Apparently she, like, cloaked her or something. Uh, uh... <gasps> Mario! So, it's all over then? Yep, we got a game over. I'm so sorry, Mario. Who knew all this would happen? I did. No need to apologize, Peach. It was our pleasure. I hope you're not speaking for the both of us. Thank you, all of you. Aha! There you are, Mario! Huh? Who's that? <gasps> you got out of the closet! He came out of the closet, folks. It's official. Well, well. Can you believe those brutes that came after me and old Goomba? But I still made it here. I was so worried about all you all. I have no idea. By the look of things, though, I guess we're in the clear. Am I right? Yeah, I guess. You kids sure are the real thing, I tell ya. Yeah, little Pippi. Yes, it seems to be one piece, too. Ah! I see what you did there! Two. So, all is well. So, without further ado, let's take a look at this. <gasps> he found it! He found the... He found the treasure! I found this on the way. This must be the treasure we heard rumors of in Rogueport. My theory has been correct all these years. There really was a legendary treasure. Well, Professor Frankly... No need to bring me down now. It may be something great, and all's well that ends well. Now, how do we get out of this dank place, anyway? We gotta go all the way back through this crap of lights! Let's go home, Mario. Back to everyone. Oh, yeah! Let's go home! That way you can get kidnapped from there, too. Amazing. And so, the circle of life repeats itself once again. Holla frickin' Luya. So, you leaving then? Well, that's too bad. Having you around did wonders for my research. Ah, oh, Professor, we never let you monopolize Mario for your research anyway. Besides, you said I could be your research assistant for next term. Really? Huh. Yes, that's right. And I thank you, Goombella. Mario, even after you leave here, please don't forget about us, alright? And in return, we'll wish that you find the best in the future. <laughs> you mean the next Paper Mario game? Oh, no, that wasn't exactly the best, but whatever. Never ever give up, Mario. That's the most important thing I learned from you. Thanks, Mario. Just promise me you'll think of me every now and again, okay? Um, Mario, thanks to you, I found courage and inner strength. Aw, oh, you're okay, Rocky. I don't think... I don't know how to say this, but I think I like myself more since I've known you. And I feel like I've grown closer to my dad. By being away from him. Yes, that makes complete sense. It's all so hard to put into words. Um, yeah, just just stop talking. My dear Mario, I'm ready to make a comeback in the theater now. I've found so many things on this journey that I can only express on the stage. 
And with these new themes, I'm ready for that wonderful spotlight again. Please do come and see me once we finish rehearsing and bring Peach to dear heart. Gonzalez! Oh yeah, wait, I gotta stop doing that. It's Mario, right? Well, you'll always be Gonzalez to me, man. Because I was born in the Glitz Pits and Gonzalez is always and will be the champ. So let's meet again, Gonzalez. I mean it, man. Uh, Mario, I I feel I feel like I've grown to lo- Uh, yeah, n never mind. Y yeah, I sure do think that you and Peach will make a nice cussle. <laughs> I'll never forget my time traveling with you. So, don't forget me either. Don't worry, we will. Well, old boy, it was the most agreeable that I had the chance to meet you. If not for you, then my dear Scarlet would still be gazed down in a broken bomb. -om. But now I'm off to sea again. I know Scarlet would have wanted it this way. Let's see each other again, Mario. And this time, let it be on the high seas, old boy. Well, it is time for us to part, my little cheese hunk. But I will not say farewell. Because you're welcome here any time. And since you're welcome, you should be come any time you please, sweetie. Now be careful, and until we meet again, adieu. I thought you were going to call me a cheese hunk again. Well, well, the boat's coming. Almost here. I can't really do his voice. Mario! What? What the frick? There are mushrooms walking across the ground! What the heck is going on? I thought we beat the game! Ah, we made it just in time. Take these with you. We brought them so you'd have something to eat on the boat. Yummy! These are very fresh mushrooms. Yeah, well, I actually have a lot of better uh, health recovery items right on my inventory, so I don't really think I need it, but I'll take it anyway. Just the uh, gesture kind of counts, I suppose. Even though I'm probably going to throw it off the boat. Everyone, if not for all of you, the world would have fallen into horrible darkness. But your brave hearts strove for peace and saved this world. I don't know how to thank you, but know that the entire world is in your debt. What? Nonsense! We're the ones who should be thanking you, Princess! Yeah, for making us go throughout this entire adventure painstakingly. If you had come to our little town, we'd all be puppets for the Shadow Queen and Gronish! And the thought gives me hives. <laughs> I never want to see that. Ah, look! Your Highness! I see the boat! Yes, I have terrible voice acting for the first time in this game. Take care, everyone! Farewell! Yeah, we're just gonna leave the Ouija behind. No big deal, right? No big deal. Let's go. Cool. Let's get on this dang boat. Get out of here. Oh, forgive my lateness, sir. I must have dozed off for a bit. <sighs> but please, come on board. I'll get you folks back. Full steam! He's like, this place is terrible. We gotta leave now! I ain't staying here, man. Set a course for the Mushroom Kingdom! <sighs> Good lord. And so, we depart on this wind-up toy of a boat. So we say farewell to the voices that we've come to know and love. They're all such lovely people, don't you think? Yeah, you got to meet them in like 10 minutes. That sounds real great. I don't have too many good memories of Rogueport, or with the kidnapping at all. I doubt you have any at all. But it really has a vibrant town full of love for life, isn't it? Sure. I had to deliver packages for creepy people and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's love right there in a box. Mario, I was very frightened when they took me, but, well, Tech was really there for me, and he helped me get through it all. I knew that you would come to help me as well. I've always believed in that. I love how Mario's not even paying attention. <laughs> Thank you, Mario. He's not even looking at her in the eye. <laughs> I, maybe I should listen to Toadsworth and behave more like a princess from now on. Yeah, but we all know you won't because you're a prick. Oh, look! I'm gonna put my hands over my chest because people are looking there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Mario, look out there! Rogueport's positively shining. It's so beautiful. I know, right? Hey, look! It's a sea of lemonade! Let's go swimming! Yeah, man! That's like the dream come true right there. I'm gonna go swimming in that sea of lemonade. Freaking lemonade at sea, man. Lemonade sea, the power of the sun. Oh, wow. That's crazy, bro. You had a pretty rough time of it, didn't you? Yeah, man, I had to save the freaking world. What have you done with your life? But now that Peach is safe, I guess everything's okay. Really, though, how amazing is it that you saved the world again? Again, bro! 
And say, it's been a little while since... Are you ready for a new adventure? Yeah, you're the man, bro. I wonder what everyone who traveled with you is up to. Probably up to, uh, nothing. Whoa, what was that, bro? What was your new... new fangled mail gadget? Yeah, I think it was. It was my new fangled mail... mail gadget. Dear Mario. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm used to that. Dear Mario, what's up? Goombella here. I'm still working with Professor Frankly. We beat the Shadow Sirens, but there's a ton of Rogue Port lore that we still don't get. I'm talking like an email advertisement, but whatever. So, my research with the Professor goes on and on. I'm just gonna talk normal for this. And so, we get to see what our party members have been up to while we've uh, gone away. With the info I've gathered with you, we have a lots of great leads now, though. Mario, like I always said, every myth contains a kernel of truth. Like popcorn? Speaking of which, know what was in the chest that Professor uncovered? No, I really want to know. You're totally not going to believe me when I tell you. It's... <laughs> a secret! <laughs> I'll tell you next time I see you. You little prick! <laughs> Dang it, I worked real hard for that. Now you're just going to tell me it's a secret. You jerk. Huh? As part of my research I did, go back to many of the places we visited. And I saw everyone we traveled with, too. Herp derp. Part of research, you actually went back? Why would you go back to freaking Pedalberg? Seriously. There's nothing over there. Koops is living peacefully in Pedalberg with his dad and Koopy Koo. And Mario, guess what Koops wants to do now? Become a wrestler? He wants to become mayor of Pedalberg and live there in peace. Can you imagine? No, not really. Still, it might be perfect for him, come to think of it. He's so much more of an adult now than when you left Rogueport. Still, I think Koopy Koo pretty much has to wrap around her little finger. Herb nerve, that's funny. What, what, what's going on? What's going on? Oh my god. What's going on? What? Mario Sunshine, how am I over there? Furry's back on the stage in a big way, and the crowds are totally ecstatic. And the play she's doing right now is the story of our adventure. Yeah. It's called Paper Mario. I saw it twice. It was totally the best play ever. It was totally the best play ever. Oh my god. And the most original title, too. And somehow, Duplass has joined the troupe as an actor. Who saw that coming? Yeah, you can see how tired he is and everything. His transformation skills are serving him well, but it kind of creeps me out. Yeah, especially when you know how that worked out. <laughs> I like how the acting is actually just a battle. Oh, and little draft? Yeah, he's fighting solo in the Glitz Pit. He says he's going to get pretty close to a title match even. Isn't that just adorable? No, not really. And yeah, he's calling himself the Great Gonzalez Jr. in the ring, by the way. <laughs> Aw, it's sort of silly, but kind of cute too, don't you think? He really admires me. Well, I mean, I'm his parent for, like, his entire life. Oh, and, uh, wait. I have to get it exactly right or he'll get, like, so mad at me. And he said that he could totally take you in the ring now, so bring it. Yeah, I doubt it. I guess he doesn't change. Is it that's too cute? Okay, he's not that cute, okay? I like him and everything. He's cool and everything, but he's not, like, totally cute and oh my god and stuff. Vivian's gone back to hanging out with her sister. His family is important, after all. Of course. Now that the Shadow Queen has been defeated, I don't think Beldum's into evil. And Beldum also promised she would never be mean to Vivian ever again. I can imagine why, because she whooped that Shadow Queen's butt off the moon! Uh, yep, I think the three sirens are going to live pretty peacefully from now on. But you should totally go and visit her sometime. And by visit her, you mean not. <laughs> oh, we're, we're taking a ship with Cortez, huh? Okay. Look, there's Bobbery! Bobbery! I love you, Bobbery! You're awesome! Bobbery goes out to sea every day now with Cortez. I think his soul has healed. I ran into him on Key Hall Key by accident the other day, which was nice. He was so happy. I thought he was going to blow up on me for a second there. You know, I bet Scarlet is looking down on him and smiling right now. Oh, and I almost forgot. Everyone at Key Hall Key is well, and they say hello. Is well, uh, uh, okay. Awkward spacing, but whatever. Miss Mouse is still running the bad shop. Oh my god, that was Miss Mouse! What the frick is this? Oh my god, I did not know that! Ugh! She comes over to Frankly sometimes to visit. But as usual, as soon as she sets foot outside the, uh, the shop, she turns into a badge ninja. She said she's just the other day she found some super rare badge, actually. That's her globe trotting, mystery making, flirting little badge thief, huh? That's quite the title right there. Oh my god, I never would have guessed that was Miss Mouse. What the fr- How come she could never jump that high in the game? Seriously! That would have been so helpful. 
Really? <laughs> oh my god, that is hilarious. He's hopping around as a hit. In my travels, I heard rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus were both still alive. I guess that makes them pretty tenacious baddies, doesn't it, Mario? But they mellowed a lot, just like Beldum has, and I don't expect more trouble. Plus, I hear Grotus is just a head, which really cuts down on the mischief-making. <laughs> I love how he's hopping around like that. He can't even talk. <laughs> Lordy. What are we doing here? We're in the rogue port now, what the frick? Quick, into the teleporter room! We must get to the chopper! Speaking of miracle survivals, guess whose favorite calculator is still computing? He says he really wants to see you at Peach again. I thought he exploded. He's still operational? What? What was that big explosion then? The big shining light, that's... Uh... Well, I'm totally rambling at this point, so I guess I'd better wrap it up. Yeah, you better. I just want to say, even though things get tough, I'm grateful for our time together. And there's one more kind of thing that I kind of weighed on me, and I never got to express to you. See, I... Well, maybe that's best kept a secret. No, tell me. Tell me! Tell me! Your secret's out. I know you have a secret. Now you have to tell me. Now this is gonna weigh heavy on my mind, you little prick. Now please, say hi to Peach for me, okay? All my party members are pricks. Till we meet again, your friend Goombella. That was a long message. Hey, that's awesome, bro. Sounds like everyone's doing great over there. Oh, yeah. yeah, it sounds like it. They don't need me anymore. They've grown up so much, I'm so proud. Huh? Someone's here? Ex excuse me, sirs. Huh? Toesworth? Hey, Peach! Hello, Mario. Hello, Luigi. Please allow me to apologize for the un coming unannounced, but uh, I was cleaning out the storeroom in the castle the other day, and uh, I found something rather amazing. Yes! Toadsworth found a treasure map! I'm sure it will lead to real treasure this time. I just know it! So, Mario, you'd love to look for treasure, is that right? The boat's waiting for you. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> and Peach has never learned a lesson in her entire life. Amazing. So, that's it right there. That is Paper Mario and the Millennium Door. We're just gonna watch the credit sequence and watch these little letters freak out on the screen right here. This LP is going down as my most rememberable LP of all time. This is where it really starts. That's that's essentially what I'm thinking right here, because I've gotten so much support from you guys, and it just amazes me to no end. I, I can't express how thankful I am to you guys, and how much you watch my videos and uh, comments. I, 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 I'm just... I can't say I'm speechless because I'm talking right now, but uh, I, I'm just very thankful to you guys, and I can't express how thankful I am for that. But um, I appreciate every comment, even though I don't exactly uh, reply to every comment. It's just because uh, half the time I can't think of what to say. I'm like that. <laughs> That's just who I am. I'm, I'm sorry. I am sorry if I offend you if I don't reply to your comment. But um, I appreciate every comment, every like, every favorite. I'm not asking you to do it, I, although it would be nice. I'm just saying. But uh, yeah, very memorable LP for my for the books right now. And uh, I will never forget this, honestly. This has got to be one of my favorite games to play, and I really wanted to play this for a while. But uh, I never really... I really wanted to play the first one before I got into this one, but I noticed like a lot of people were playing the original one, so I just thought I might as well just go backwards down the chain, because I did Super Paper Mario first, and that LP sucked. But uh, this one is quite a bit better. I saw quite a few areas in uh, the LP where I could have done better. Like, uh, with some consistency and whatnot, but, uh, overall, the product isn't that bad. It's actually, I thought it went pretty well. I also like the, uh, credit sequence right here. You can see all the enemies actually walk across the screen, kind of like the old, uh, credits where they actually introduced all the enemies and put their name bios on there. But you just get to see all kinds of, uh, species of the Mushroom Kingdom just walk across the screen. At least they're little silhouettes, anyway. 
Interesting thing to note that every single chapter in this game, Mario always got a different name for some reason. Like in chapter one, he was called Mario. In chapter no, he was called uh, Murphy. In chapter two, he was called Mario. Marty, oh, excuse me. In chapter three, he was called Gonzalez. In chapter four, he was called, uh, he lost his name, excuse me. In chapter five, he was called Captain Stash. In chapter six, he was called Luigi. And, uh, except for chapter seven and eight, which were just mostly, like, story, uh, fulfillment right there. But, uh, yeah, pretty much Mario had an identity crisis throughout this entire game, throughout every freaking chapter. And like I said before, pretty much every female uh, party member also fell in love with uh, Mario as well. Which makes me wonder if Mario's just that good with the ladies, seriously. What the frick kind of enemy is that? I don't even remember that. Is that like a caca or something? What the frick? This flapping his wings over there, he's like, caca, 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 caca. <laughs> Charles Martinet! Charles Martinet! I love Charles Martinet. Charles Martinet is the awesome Mario voice actor. If you did not know that, I don't know how you don't know that. Okay, so essentially all we're doing right now is uh, reviewing all the chapters, all the friends and foes that we've met along our journeys throughout this entire game. Now I gotta say, I do like the uh, cred sequence of this game, to be honest with you. It's actually quite soothing, quite relaxing, dear boy, quite relaxing and all that jazz. Not really much to talk about on this, to be honest with you. I'll probably just uh, start talking about random uh, names and everything. But, um... I, I can't express the gratitude I have towards uh, everybody right now. It's just, uh, it's a great feeling to know that uh, people do watch, do care. And uh, I am eternally grateful. I am eternally grateful! Eh. We are eternally grateful. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So let's make fun of their names, shall we? Super Mario Club, Japanese thing. The SMC. The SMC dog. Yeah, she. I like how the E is just spinning around while the other letters are freaking out right there. <laughs> what, is it? what is that? Kinsu Tanabe. Kinsu Tanabe. That is an epic screenshot right there. Holy crap. You know, something I kind of wish they would explain. Like, what is that? They always get, they got that, like, sanctuary right dead in the center of the Palace of Shadow. But they don't really explain what it really is. I wish they, like, would have, like, clarified that. I think that would have been a nice little plot uh, enhancement right there. It would have been neat to uh, know what that actually was right there. Like a cleansing station or something. But, alas, the world will never know like what's, how many licks it takes to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop. But whatever. And so, that ends the game. Sad to say. But, uh, we're going to have some bonus episodes after this, so it's not exactly the end of the game. However, this is technically the end of the game. We got some stuff that we can do after... I'm just going to point out a couple of special bonus stuff that we can do. But technically this is. The Sea of Lemonade. So I will see you. Next LP. Bonus episodes. Whatever you want to call it. But I will see you. Later. <laughs>